My name is Jill and I am a pro educator here at LashFi and today we are going to apply a lash map. If you are part of our emails, we just send an email with some really beautiful lash maps from our Lash Affines. So I'm going to apply one of those maps. I was inspired by it. It's beautiful. I think it was by Isabel. It's B's, D's, Starburst, and EI's. Like it's a whole mix. So I'm going to apply that. First, I'm going to show you if you're new how to get started with LashFi. Then we're going to remove this eye together and then we're going to apply this eye together. So we have a lot to do. Okay. So if you are new, I have linked down here our Lashify LED control kit. It is the best way to get started. We have our classic control kit for $125. You get three gossamer styles and you choose either eight or three gossamer lengths, 10, 12, and 14. You choose from our core collection. You get everything you need to get started. But today we are talking luxury. We are talking about the LED control kit. Okay. So oh, my camera's shaking. We're talking LED control kit. So I'm gonna show you what comes in that control kit. And again, is this is everything that you need to get started. So with that, the LED control kit comes in this beautiful satin case. It is $185 <clears throat> and you get inside your charger, you get your pack of wandums and the best part, the control kit. So inside every control kit, you are going to get our double-sided whisper light. So that is two bonds. So you have clear on one side, black on the other. We will use this bond to apply today. Then you're gonna choose between our classic fuse control wand and our petite fuse control wand. The classic fuse control wand is really great for a deep set eye, an almond eye. <clears throat> and then we have, excuse me, that's kind of gross. Then we have our petite fuse control wand. It has 10% less curve. Really great for a mono lid or for a longer eye. So the classic has a curve, we'll say like this. The petite has a curve like this. Either wand can work for your eye. The wand is designed to kind of fit over your lid and you can work with it, play around with it. And we'll talk more about that when we get into actual application. So you're gonna choose classic or petite. Then you're gonna get your glass. Glass is gonna seal your lashes. It's going to make them water resistant. And then with the purchase of the LED control kit, you can choose four gossamers, any length, any style, any color. So today we're using B, D, one, two, three, four. Today we're using five, possibly six. So you could get this look by purchasing the LED control kit and adding on two more gossamers, or you're gonna go right into your email and you're gonna, if you've already got the control kit, you're gonna click add lash map to cart and we do all the work for you. You don't have to go search them all. It adds it right to your cart for you, okay? So here's the other cool part of the LED control kit. You ready? Are you ready? Look at that. Okay, so it has a dimmable LED light, so it can get a little bit dimmer, a little bit brighter. I love to say the color of it is like this beautiful, like soft candlelight hue. Everybody looks better on candlelight, duh. My grandma used to say everybody looks better in the dark, but I don't know if that's right. So you have this, you charge it, the charge lasts for a very long time, okay? And then there is more inside of that storage case. This actually, inside of this carrying case, it turns into storage. So underneath here, you're gonna get room for eight more gossamers. So eight here, two in your control kit. You're getting four to start with. It's amazing. All right, so let's do this. If you guys are just joining, if you're watching over on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, we are simulcasting from our website and I cannot see your comments there. So come join me here. Hang with me. Ask all the questions. That is why we do these lives. Okay, I can't get my kit back in here. There we go. All right, so if you're just joining, we're going to remove this lash map together and we are going to remove it using, whoa, using our release. Okay. So a lot of people ask about removal. We don't do removal too often on our lives. So I wanted to do it for you today. So we have two removal options. We have our release, which is going to be what I'm using today, or we have our melt away. Our melt away is a dual phase oil-based remover. You shake it up, put it on a cotton round, put it on a spoolie. I say put it on a cotton round, hold it flat over the lash and they literally just slide off with the purchase of any control kit, the LED or the classic control kit, you do get a sample of our melt away removal and a sample of our pre-cleanse, which will be our prep step. So you do literally get everything you need and more to get started. Again, with the LED control kit, $185, the classic control kit, $125. I'm loving the LED reveal because I just bought that one and haven't seen a reveal yet. Thank you. You're welcome, Coral. What gossamer styles did you get with your LED control kit? All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna use release to remove. To remove our lashes, they what breaks apart the bond is gonna be oil. 
So while you wear them, our biggest aftercare tip is avoid oils touching the lash. Otherwise, you're going to start to get lifting or you're going to just lose the lash altogether, right? So avoid oils. So our Melts Way, again, is an oil-based dual phase makeup remover. Our release is a formula that is all nourishing oils, okay? So actually, if you use release, you can brush it through the lash and then any uh, release that sits under the eye, you can pat into your eye like an eye cream because it is gonna be nourishing. But we got some makeup on today, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna come in with the release. It does have a plastic applicator. And what I like to do, there's different ways. You can use release and just brush it straight down. What I like to do is press it right into kind of like the spines where all of our product is. So I, pre oh, orange my eye. So I press it into the spines and then what I like to do too is press it through the top. Okay, so I'm just pushing the release right on there. You can just coat the lashes with it. I never end up having to dip back in because the um, applicator actually holds a lot of product. And then I kind of let it sit for a second. Okay, so Coral got C plus and Stardust for the doe eye look, super excited. Okay, love that. So if you guys are new, a doe eye look or is more of an open eyed look with a longer lash in the center. If you're just joining, we're removing this mat from yesterday using our release and then we're gonna apply a featured lash mat from one of our lash fiends. So the mat from yesterday is a Stardust or Starburst 12, C12, Starburst 4, no, hold on. Starburst 12, C12, Starburst, I'm gonna try it one more time. Starburst 12, C10, Starburst 12, C14, Starburst 14, C14, C16. So we've coated the lashes in the release and what I like to do honestly is just gently slide them off and look, let's see if it'll focus. Not a single one of my natural lashes have come off, okay? So I just gently slide them off. If they're not sliding off when I'm using release, then I just wait a little longer. But I'm telling you, there is not a single lash on here, guys. Okay, so. I'm coming in just gently removing. Guys, it's so satisfying. It's really satisfying when they all come off at once. Um, okay, so we're removing, but now look, my natural lashes are still coated in bond. We wanna make sure that we apply to fresh, clean, dry lashes. So we need to remove the bond from those lashes. So I'll come in with a clean spoolie and just kind of brush out any excess bond. Sometimes I will even just softly roll my fingers and look, just bond, no lashes. Here's the other thing too. If you're removing your lashes and you have a few lashes of your own that are coming out, that's totally normal, okay? Your lashes shed the same way that your, look at all this bond. Your lashes shed the same way that your hair sheds. So look, these are all my natural lashes. I've been wearing Lashify for over five years, I can say now, proudly. Um, and I have zero lash damage. Okay, so once we've removed all of our bond, what we'll need to do is prep. Or once we, yeah, once we removed all of our bond, we'll need to prep because right now, all my natural lashes now are coated in oil. And like we were just saying, oil is gonna break apart the bond. So we wanna make sure that there's no oil on these suckers before we apply a new lash mat. My left eye has been twitching for two days. What do you think that means? Okay. Boom. So we are lash free, bond free, I think. Look at that. Okay, so there's no more lashes, no run. So easy, right? They literally slide right off. Boom, no damage to the natural lash. Let's reapply. So if we're gonna reapply, I am going to need to prep my lash. So like I said, with the purchase of that control kit, you do get a sample of our pre-cleanse. I am gonna use our pre-cleanse to prep my lash. What this is, is a Japanese cleansing water. It removes any residual oils from the lash. I'm gonna get a clean spoolie. Removes any residual oil from the lash, any makeup, anything that's gonna affect your application, okay? So I'm just gonna brush it through with that clean spoolie, you can use a cotton round, Q-tip, paper towel, you can use whatever, but you just wanna make sure that you're applying to clean, dry lashes. Maybe you've purchased the control kit, you had the pre-cleanse sample, it ran out, and now you're like, what do I use to prep? You're just gonna prep. Uh, You're just gonna apply to fresh, clean, dry lashes right out of the shower, okay? Don't try to substitute, I have a new mirror set up, and I think it's too high. Don't try to substitute pre-cleanse or prepping with like witch hazel or Meissler water. Meissler water actually has glycerin in it, so it's gonna remove the lash. 
and cause slip as well as witch hazel sometimes has aloe in it. Okay, so we have prepped. They are soaking wet. So I'm gonna take my blow tool, another great add-on, and I'm just gonna push some air onto here. So the blow does not come in the control kit, but what it is, it's the best tool you never knew you needed. It just speeds up the process and you're gonna be so happy that you did it. Okay, pushing this on here, giving it a second to get dry. And then here's the thing, a lot of people will ask, I think I keep saying here's the thing. A lot of people will ask, do I need to curl my lashes beforehand if they're straight? You can curl them beforehand, but you don't have to, okay? So my natural lashes aren't really curly. They kind of actually are a little bit straight. They don't go straight down, but they're straight out. What happens when we're applying, because we're applying to the underside of the lash, our natural lash submits to the curl of whatever gossamer style we're putting on there. So we don't have to curl it. You totally can, that's preference. We do have our lash -a curl, our heated lash curler. Mine's dying, per usual. But you can come in and curl those lashes beforehand using that or a uh, lash curler. All right, so let's do this. We are going to do, excuse me, we're gonna do a double bonding technique that I like where it is going to be one layer of black whisper light and one layer of clear whisper light. So I'm gonna come in with our bonds, all of our bonds free of any harsh chemicals, no cyanoacrylates, no formaldehyde, no latex, literally made for everyone. The system was made for the most sensitive eye, okay? So don't have to worry about any allergic reactions to our bond. Our bonds are flexible, so while you wear them, the lashes move freely with your natural lash. That is how you have zero damage. I mean, look how healthy my natural lashes really truly are. And I have been wearing these every single day, except for, I'm not even kidding you, maybe four uh, in the past five years. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with our black. If you wanna wear these lashes for one day, you can. You can wear them for as long as you want. If you're looking for one day wear, you're gonna do one layer of black, apply the lashes, fuse them down, go have your day. If you wanna wear them for longer, that's when we start layering our bond. Layering the bond is gonna help create a cushion. So one layer, here's your cushion. Your lashes, your gossamer sit inside. Two layers, your cushion gets thicker. Three layers, your cushion gets thicker. And there's more space to secure your lashes and your gossamers, okay? So what we're doing when we're layering is creating a cushion. The key to layering the bonds, thin coats of bond, allowing each layer to get nice and tacky. So I'm gonna come in with our first layer using the Black Whisper Light. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna brush this through my natural lash. And I'm not coming in and pushing it like I would like a mascara where you're really pushing it on there. Light-handed, just coming in and going from root to tip. I'm gonna coat my entire lash with the black. I wanna come in, I can use the tip of the wand to separate a little bit. What you wanna avoid is clumping. You don't want tons of clumping. You don't want a lot of, um, especially clumping at the tip. That's gonna start to cause a little tension. We don't want that. We want healthy, glowing lashes. So our bonds actually contain biotin and labandula too, which is like nutrients for the natural lash. So see how we have our first layer, boom, layer uno. We're gonna come in with our blow tool. So the key to layering, thin light coats, let each layer get tacky. So we're coming in with the blow, we're gonna push some air onto this first layer. And then we're gonna do this for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you don't have the blow, you're gonna wait a little bit longer, okay? Then I can take the back of my nail and see if it's getting tacky. And we're not tacky yet, we're still juicy. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna use the blow a little bit longer. But see how, when you're using the blow, see how much air is getting pushed on there versus if I'm just fanning and waiting. So that's why the blow just speeds things up. The blow is really, she's it. All right, so. My second layer of bond I'm going to do is using our clear. Our clear whisper light has a precision tip. It goes on white and then dries clear, or like once it starts to get tacky, it turns clear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my clear onto my lash and where I'm applying it is important, okay? Pay attention. We are going, let's see, is the blow tool recommended for people with dry eyes? Oh yes, coral. So here's the thing, with the blow tool, I blow it like this. You can blow it from the top and it's not gonna dry out your eye either. I actually do have dry eyes. I use re-wetting drops throughout the day and it doesn't affect my lashes. You can use re-wetting drops, but no, you can still use the blow tool. Just use it a little differently. All right, so we're gonna come in with that clear and I'm gonna apply it one to two millimeters away from my waterline. Okay, so I'm applying it. Ooh, that was a little bit much. 
one to two millimeters away from my waterline because that's where I'm going to place the spine of my gossamer. We don't want to apply the gossamers onto our waterline because then you're going to feel them. All of our gossamer styles are made of Korean PBT silk. See, ooh, they're made of Korean PBT silk, vegan, cruelty free, super lightweight, virtually weightless. You should never feel them, okay? If you feel it, it just means that you are on your waterline. So here is one to two millimeters with that clear whisper light. I'm gonna apply my spines right there. If you're just joining, we are applying our lash map from our Lashafine, Lashafine, Lashafine Spotlight email that was just sent out. Go check it out. There's really beautiful lash maps in there. I'm gonna apply Isabel's lash map, which is B's, D's, and Star Burst. Maybe some EIs too. So we're gonna come in and we need this to get tacky before we can apply. So I am gonna push some air on here. And let's see, I'm going to tag our bold gossamers down here if it lets me. Pushing some air. See how my eyes watering now that we talked about a coral. All right, and I'm going to apply using my um, <clears throat> classic fuse control wand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going, actually, this is not a classic, this is a petite. I'm going to use my petite fuse control wand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in my inner corner and work my way out. So in uh, when I apply, I like to use my wand without the wandums. And then what I like to do is anytime I remove a uh, lash from the cartridge, what we recommend is using your fingers. So I already have my lash map laid out here on my dirty uh, <laughs> lash pad. Um, but when you remove from the cartridge, use your fingers. Our wand puts a certain amount of pressure at the tip. It's called a horizontal clamp force. You can tweeze your brows with it. You can tweeze your nose hairs, your chin hairs, whatever hairs you want. Uh, you don't want to come in and tweeze your gossamers though. Okay, so come and use your fingers, slide them out. The sticky pad is really great too because, oh, mine's dirty, but look, my lash map's laid out. I could pop these on so quick. So what we recommend is looking down into a mirror. I'm gonna try to look up a little bit so you guys can see where I'm applying. I'm gonna take my B10. This is her first um, lash that she applies in her map and I'm gonna take it. I like to angle it to match the angle of my eye. If I come in straight on like this, it's gonna look weird. So I'm gonna angle it. I'm gonna apply the spine if I can where we put that clear and see how it just sucked right on there. It's stuck right on there like Velcro. That's what you want. If it's not just sticking, that's okay. You just need to wait a little bit longer for the bond to get tacky. You have a long time to work with Whisper Light, um, so you don't feel like you have to rush. I do recommend doing one eye at a time. Don't bond up both eyes and then go crazy because um, then you're going to get sticky and messy, but you do have a long time. Okay, so we have a B10. Her next lash is a D12. I'm going to overlap it just a touch. So because I'm going to overlap it, I'm going to put a little bit of clear onto the spine because I want to give it something to stick to the other one. Sometimes if I don't overlap it, I get a little bit of lifting and I don't want that. I'm actually, guys, I'm cheating and I'm using a D+. So I'm using a D plus 12. So our D plus is our newest gossamer. It launched last week. It has a super, 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 super thin spine. I'm obsessed with them. So we are using D plus for sure. So I'm gonna take my D plus. I'm gonna look a little bit down into my mirror. I'm gonna overlap like one or two fibers if I can get it on there. Get on there, girl. Hold on, I'm gonna move it and watch. I can move it because the bond is flexible, right? So we're gonna come in. Let me see if I can do it this way. Okay, do I wanna overlap? I don't think I actually, I'm not gonna overlap it. Hold on, see, I'm gonna move it one more time. And this is the fun of Lashify, but I have caused a little clump right there. So I'm gonna take my precision lash comb and just glide through right there. Boom, see how that just got rid of that little clumpy? I don't like how we just got clumps there. Okay, now I'm just being paranoid. All right, so we're gonna come back in with that D12. We're gonna apply it right next door. I'm not gonna overlap it, actually. And again, I'm angling it to match that curve of my eye. I'm gonna give it a little fuse. So we have on a B10 and a D plus 12. The next lash in her map was a Starburst 14. So our Starburst lash has this fun kind of like pinched lash look. So we're gonna come in 
did you add whisper light to the lash to overlap? I did. So if I were to overlap, I like to add whisper light onto the lash or say I'm going to overlap this star burst. What I can do is onto this D plus right here, I can do, do a little dot or two, a little dot or two of the whisper light on there. And then when I apply, I can overlap it and it's going to give it a little bit more to stick to. Totally up to you. There's really no rules to Lashify. It's whatever you prefer, whatever you like. Okay, so did I just overlap that? I couldn't tell because I'm so far away. We did overlap it a little bit, but see how nothing's on my waterline. I can see the root of my natural lash. That's what you want. You want to see the root of your natural lash. I think I'm going to turn it a little bit though. You know what I actually think I'm going to do? I think I'm gonna do another D12 and then the 14 here and the 16 here. That's what we're gonna do. So when you purchase from the Add to Lash Map cart, you're getting every, it's not like you're getting one of each or just enough to make that map. You're getting an entire cartridge. So you can make it work for you. Switch things up a little bit. Just use it as inspiration, right? So we're gonna come in with this D plus 12. And that's kind of the fun thing too. So say you get Add to Cart, you're getting D's and B's and Starburst. You can mix it up and make your own map with them. That's why I love our Facebook group because there's so many different maps in there, so many beautiful faces. You can get such good inspiration from there. Everyone in there is so creative. Okay, there's, okay, that's what we wanted. Now we're gonna do a D plus 14. And I did overlap that Starburst. See how I overlapped it a little bit? Now we're going to pop on doo, 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 a D plus 14. I am again putting a little clear on the spines, but you can put it onto the lash or you can just pop it on there. It's really up to you. I like to do it on here because then I know for a fact, oh, hold on, my starburst is, she's slipping and sliding. We didn't let her get tacky enough. See how it's sliding right there? So when you're using the clear, you want to make sure it goes a little bit or you want to make sure it goes from white to clear. Because if it's still white on there, that's how you know it's not tacky. Then you know it's going to slip and slide. Let's see if I can do this into the camera. And I want to show you, I do like to come in and I hold it there for a second and then let go to give it that click. Oh, we are here for this map. I am going to move this one closer though. Oh, I am here for this. This is like a bold look all right let's do a star burst 16. i'm gonna wear this map all weekend here's my weekend map y'all we're going to a basketball game basketball lashes did you add okay let's see we're coming in with another star burst this one's gonna be a star burst 16 though i am gonna leave out some of my corner lashes because i leave out inner and outer corner lashes because those lashes are gonna be a little bit shorter a little bit more sparse they're not gonna hold as well so let's come in. I'm also going to angle it up a little bit more because I want to create some lift. I think I'm going to move it. Hold on. I don't like her. Let me try to do it in here so you can see. Okay. Isabel, what a map we've made. I love this. Do I want to move it out more though? Oh, this is pretty. All right, so here it is. I think it looks good. So what she did in her map, she did B10, D12, Starburst 14, D14, Starburst 16, and then she said she used Extreme Ice wherever there was gaps. I don't even, any Extreme Ice 12. Let's see, let's play. This is the fun. So our Extreme Ice Lash has spikes. <clears throat> it has these two little spikes. And then towards the base, you're gonna get shorter gossamers here, okay? So let's see if I pop on an Extreme Ice 12, maybe over here for a little more volume at the end. Oh, come here, girl. The spikes on the Extreme Ice are a thicker fiber. It's a dual fiber lash, it's amazing. The spikes are a thicker fiber and then the <laughs> and then the shorter lashes are a thinner, softer fiber. So you get a really good um, definition. Let's see, can I do this in the camera? Do we need that there? I don't know if we do. I actually hate it. We're going to move it. 
where am I gonna place an EI? Maybe. Okay. There, we placed it on top of that second D12 that we did. And I think that might be it. Pretty. She's full and she's like a little wispy, a little spiky, like a little out of control. I'm here for it. So let's look at it from the top. This is what we call our lash cleavage. So pretty. Isn't this pretty? Okay, so this was one of our lash maps from our Lash Affine Spotlight email that just went out. If you are not signed up for our emails, this is why you need to be, okay? Because we just created this beautiful map from one of our Lash Affines from our Lashify Life Facebook group. Go join Lashify Life. It is the place to be. I'm gonna seal this one up just using glass. Glass comes in the control kit. It's an optional, um, sealing is optional. What this is gonna do is it's gonna remove any excess stickiness and it's also just gonna create like a nice water resistant seal on top of the lash. So I like to think of glass as if like you get your car waxed and then it rains and the water beads off. Look at that, I mean, <laughs> look it's so pretty so we did we switched it up a little bit and again these maps are great inspiration so don't feel like if you if that exact map doesn't look right for you play around make it work for you okay so we have on a b10 two d12s a starburst 14 a d14 a starburst 16 and then we stacked an extreme ice 12 to add a little bit more volume right there and i am I'm loving it too, Coral. It is good. Look at that. She, Isabel, make me another map. I mean, guys, it is pretty. That lash cleavage, Do we? can we even handle it? Okay. So fun. Okay, so what I will do, I will take a picture of this lash map for you guys. I will post it over onto my Instagram, at lashify.jill. I will also post it into our Facebook group, Lashify Life. So if you are not part of the Facebook group, go join because it is the place to be, uh, right? Our lash fans really do bring the looks. Make sure you're signed up for our emails, our newsletters, our SMS, because we are always sending out promos. We have a drop every Wednesday. You don't want to miss it. Um, I will be back here next week. I'm so excited about this map. Maybe this is my weekend map for sure. Thank you, Isabel. All right, guys, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Lash by Life. Go check out our website. Uh, click on the learn tab. It's going to take you to short form videos, long videos. It's going to have all of our lives living there. Check it out. We are here to help. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will